Hello student, it's the first exercise of this course and in this exercise we will learn about how to model these type of Lalten models by using nerve curves in Maya. So let's start. I have a reference image. You can download this image from references. First we place this image in the background and then start tracing these curves by using CV curve tool. So I switch to Maya. I place this image in front before. First I create a plane and the plane size should be same in the image aspect ratio. I choose nerve plane. You can also choose from here also. Click and drag and select XYZ position and then hit 0. Now I move this plane in Y axis. Now we place reference image on this nerve surface. So I choose hypershade window. Click on this button. So first we create a Lambert shader. Click on this Lambert. Go to in the right side and click on this checker button in front of color and choose file and click on this folder icon and select this reference image open okay so the reference image now apply on the this dummy model first minimize this and then select this plane maximize this again right click on this lambert and choose assign material to selection. Texture is not showing on the viewport, so press numeric key space. Now you can close this upper shade window. Select this reference image and create a new layer by clicking on this button. Double click on this layer one and change the name. Now we insert this reference image in this layer. So right click on this and choose add selected object. Now this reference image layer add into this reference layer. You can check by clicking on this V button. So it's gone and now it's visible. Now click on this blank button once again. If there is R, now you cannot select this layer because it's a reference layer. Make a new layer, rename this, this layer should be selected when you draw any curve, when you draw any curve, these curve automatically add into this layer. We already discussed how to create these curves. I show you how to create curves for these fuel tank. I choose CV curve tool. First reset these settings. By pressing shift you can create a straight line. Make these points with the equal distance We create this part in the next time. So press enter key. Now if you want to modify this curve, so click on this button component mode and select this vertex point and Z position. So you can create all these 
curves by using these techniques just to object more in case anywhere you want to create a sharp angle like this so choose this tool again from here by pressing shift key to create a straight line now I want to create a right angle here so I press V V for point snapping and click on this point again so two point create on the same position then you click so it created right angle I create one more point on this point for sharp angle I press V and click on this point again and now once again like this so it's create sharp points and one more thing when you start this point it should be on this line so so you can snap this point on this grid line and click on this CVs click to show so if you move x direction is moving so it should be on zero position when you create other curves like this or this and this ring curve so these points should be on this grid line so so right click on these curves and choose control vertex and click on and click on CVs click to show and and place zero in the X axis so these curves place in the zero position of X axis any curve like this handle or this ring curve these are mirror in the other axis so you can create only half parts and mirror in the other axis so I create this I choose CV curve tool first I modify these points now select these points and click on CP's button and fill 0 in both axes so these point position now on the 0 position in x axis switch to object mode if you want to reference image of so click on this V button now select this curve and this pivot position should be on the center or you can also press D and then change the position and press D again now I create a duplicate copy in the X direction so I go to edit duplicate spacer and setting button first I reset these settings so this direction is X direction so if you want to make a mirror copy in the X direction so place minus 1 in the X axis and this for number of copies click on apply button so duplicate copy is created before attaching these curves first make reverse direction then select and click on attach button so by using these steps you can create a mirror copy so you can create half curve for this handle and then mirror in the x axis first select this curve and reverse direction then attach after applying all these tools you have to delete history first so I choose delete all type history follow all these steps and complete the task of tracing this curve I already traced these curves you can download these files from your sources so these are all curves 
with the proper naming you can see it here these are curves separate separate first curve and here this is for second curve and it's third it's for glass and these are other curve so you can download this and always remember to click history and reverse direction and then attach and the pivot position should be in the center of this curve so press D and place this pivot position on the appropriate position okay. and these points should be on the zero position so first select so first select these control vertex and click on x axis and place zero these are some other curves for side profile and this for fuel tank pin and this for fuel tank cap and this it's a circle if you select so it's like this so you can create this curve by using circle create a circle then right click and choose curve point create a point like this then choose detach because we want to break change the position of this line like this now go to side direction and create line so this time I choose a linear curve press C for curve mapping and then hit enter key now first I change the pivot position so I go to modify and choose center pivot then I properly place on this line at the this point by pressing C you can snap this on curve point I reduce little bit length of this curve okay so now these are properly positioned I think there are there is some little gap okay because the distance of this fiber so press D Now select both object and attach. So like this you can create this geometry and these are some other curves. So simply create a circle then create another circle or you can also duplicate by pressing shift by using scale tool you can scale down like this and position and position all these four points then select all these curves and choose cut to cut to cut all these shapes like this so delete all these shapes okay. now you can attach these curves so first select all these curves and choose attach to just click and move outside oh 
so first we have to delete history now you can so these are some additional parts you can delete these parts so you have to check by click and moving on this object because sometimes extra part will be remain so you have to move first and check there is additional part is available or not so by using these steps you can create this shape and by using this shape we can create side profiles in the next video we create surface by using these curves so now you can try to draw all these curves